Varied and wacky, vast and extravagant, Russia is the largest country in the world. It's the sheer scale of this country that makes it the ideal destination. Adventurous types head to the mountains and lakes for hiking, skiing, and water sports, while those looking for culture and experiences at ground level explore the country's cities and towns. This place is rich in cultural diversity and vast natural beauty unlike anywhere else. But you might have a change of heart after you see this. 15 Unsettling Discoveries in Russia Nobody Can Explain Rotifer Microworms Our first strange discovery is a microworm which was frozen in time. Scientists believe that this worm was frozen for 24,000 years and has now come back to life. It's like something from a sci-fi movie. One researcher at the Soil Cryology Laboratory in Russia said, Our report is the hardest proof as of today multicellular animals could withstand tens of thousands of years in cryptobiosis, the state of almost completely arrested metabolism. He added, the takeaway is that a multicellular organism can be frozen and stored as such for thousands of years and then return back to life, a dream of many fiction writers. Early research showed that these worms could only survive up to 10 years. Clearly, this is new research telling us an entirely different story about their miraculous ability to survive. And all of these microworms are ladies. They're all females who can reproduce asexually but only produce other females. But if any science fiction fans are wondering, this does not mean that we can cryogenically freeze human beings into the future. Life has been frozen in time with moss and tiny microscopic creatures, but it's unlikely you'll be able to do the same with humans, at least for now. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. What a man discovered in Russia shocked the whole world. As ancient Arctic glaciers melt and retreat from their centuries-old positions, the permafrost found near the poles is revealing secrets buried for thousands of years. Each new discovery is not only a portal to the past, but a clue to the mystery of what life was like on Earth before people came along and got greedy. Recently, earlier this year, scientists thawed and performed an autopsy on a 12,400-year-old dig uncovered in the Russian permafrost that had recently retracted to reveal the canine. This thing looks as fresh as the permafrost is cold. The pup's brain was found to be surprisingly well-preserved, and some researchers have suggested cloning the dog, an ancestor to a breed of canines that have long since gone extinct. The researchers told the press the brain was 70 to 80 percent preserved and it could help us understand the evolution of modern dogs. It's not known when and where dogs were first domesticated, and so far we have not yet discovered the missing link between wolves and dogs. It's possible this animal might be part of that chain, especially if evidence can be found to support the theory that the animal was someone's pet. But this looks to be one scary-looking pet pooch, don't you think? Comment below using hashtag SweetTopic. 18,000-year-old puppy while the frozen microworms came back to life, this frozen puppy wasn't so lucky. These are the remains of an 18,000-year-old puppy. We say puppy because scientists can't figure out whether this was a dog or a wolf. DNA tests were run on the animal, but they could not find which species this thing is. The canine was believed to be only two months old, but because it died in the freezing cold, it's been remarkably preserved. You can still see its fur, nose, and teeth. The fact that they cannot figure out whether it's a dog or a wolf has led scientists to believe that this thing could be neither of them. It could instead be the evolutionary species in between a dog and a wolf. Modern dogs are believed to be the descendants of wolves, and they were domesticated roughly 20,000 years ago. Researcher Dave Stanton at the Center of Paleogenics in Sweden told CNN, We have a lot of data from it already, and with that amount of data, you'd expect to tell if it was one or the other. Dog lovers watching will have heard of the Siberian Husky, which is a dog which looks a lot like a wolf in comparison to other dogs. If this is a dog, it could possibly be the oldest dog ever found. It'd been named Doger, which means friend in the Yakut language. Orange Snow As the ancient saying goes, never eat yellow snow. But what about this orange snow? 
This is the strange color the snow has decided to turn into on the snowy slopes of Sochi in Russia. As you may recall, the 2014 Winter Olympics were held in Sochi, but recently its mountains have turned dusty red and it looks like these skiers are on Mars or something. Apparently, this strange color has been carried by winds from the Sahara Desert. There have been a lot of lifted sand or dust originating from North Africa and the Sahara from sandstorms which have formed in the desert. As the sand gets lifted to the upper level of the atmosphere, it gets distributed elsewhere. Looking at satellite imagery from NASA, it shows a lot of sand and dust drifting from the Mediterranean. Essentially, the sand went from northern Africa to Greece. They went further north into Eastern Europe. This phenomenon has also been found in Bulgaria, Romania, and Ukraine. Apparently, this happens every five years. <laughs> Strange Glow from Sky During the winter months, the sky in Russia can be amazing, particularly in parts above the Arctic Circle. Here you can see the aurora, better known as the northern lights. This occurs when solar wind reaches the Earth's magnetic field. You can see green and purple light all glowing across the sky. There are multicolored pillars which soar vertically into the sky. However, one particular glow in October 2022 was more difficult to explain. A light beam emerged from the sky, but the location from which it came was rather suspicious. The light was emerging vertically from the headquarters of the Northern Fleet, which is where Russia stores its largest submarine bases with nuclear submarines. The concept of Russia using nuclear weapons for its invasion of Ukraine has not been ruled out, so this light naturally horrified the locals. Hopefully, it's just one of Russia's beautiful displays of natural light. <laughs> Whalebone Alley In Siberia's remote Yigrin Island, these gigantic whale bones were found. This is fittingly known as Whalebone Alley and is believed to be where whales were slaughtered for meat. There are assumed to be 150 meat pits in this area. This alley was created roughly 600 years ago by tribes who used to live on this island. The extremely cold temperatures made the area not very suited for agriculture, so whale meat was needed to survive. It's believed that the site was also for religious rituals too. When studying a similar area like Alaska, they found that tribes would often group together so they could hunt. Often the most skilled hunters would group together so they could gather the most meat they possibly could. Ancient Building in the Caucasus some of the oldest buildings in the world were found in Russia. Some buildings date back as far as 25,000 years. The pyramids, meanwhile, are only about 4,500 years old. However, other historians have placed these Russian monoliths as between 4,000 and 6,000 years old. This prehistoric architecture, as you can imagine, consists mainly of simple stone blocks stacked on top of one another. However, the precision of these stones is quite advanced, with some cuts at an exact 90-degree angle. Most of the buildings are rectangular, and at the front is a facade where rituals may have taken place. Similar megalithic monuments can also be seen in other sites across Europe and Asia. <coughs> woolly Mammoth Skeleton A lot of viewers may have heard of the woolly mammoth. It's very similar to an elephant, but went extinct hundreds of years ago. But some remains of these creatures were found in the Siberian lake. In fact, 90% of its remains were still intact. This mammoth is 10,000 years old. Believe it or not, you can age a mammoth by counting the rings inside its tusk, like the rings of a tree. It's also believed to be between 15 and 20 years old when it passed away. Like the puppy and the worms we mentioned earlier, the freezing cold temperatures preserve things incredibly well. Scientists have also found a 42,000-year-old foal with no signs of external damage, as well as a 32,000-year-old wolf head and an extinct cave lion cub. It's expected that more and more of these lost animals will be found in the future. Because of climate change, this region is getting warmer and more mysterious discoveries are emerging from the ice. But as well as the amazing wildlife, Siberia is also home to some pretty mysterious human activity. Eastern Siberia is home to the Myrny Diamond Mine, a mine so deep that it can sweep helicopters inside of it. Myrny is a mining town in northern Russia, only 450 kilometers away from the Arctic Circle. Not much was known about this village until a massive scandal made the world's headlines. In 2017, eight miners died due to a water leakage during a flood which trapped them inside the mine and resulted in them drowning. Despite weeks of searching, their bodies were never found. 
The head of the mine and its chief engineer were fired after the accident. Not only that, they were also taken into custody and charged with breaching safety rules. The investigation showed that they knew about the leaking water but failed to halt the construction. They were sentenced to seven years in prison. However, a day after the sentence, the head of the diamond mine was found dead in a cell. There were signs of suicide, but that wasn't confirmed. The mine is surrounded by controversy and by mystery. Not many outsiders have had the chance to visit the site. The global jeweler De Beers asked for permission to have a look around and it took them six years to finally get that permission. And even still, they were only given a 20-minute tour. <laughs> Eerie Melted Bricks of Fort Zverev Along the shores of the Baltic Sea is Fort Zverev. This was built in the 1860s along the Gulf of Finland. This is a mushroom-shaped fort with a beautiful curved ceiling. This is what it used to look like. Nowadays, some refer to it as hell on earth. By the 20th century, the fort was converted into a warehouse for sea houses and ammunition. It then became a site for military training during World War II and continued on afterwards. It's believed that the Soviet Union had something similar to napalm stored inside. But by the 1970s, a devastating fire occurred at the fort. Because of all the dangerous materials inside the fort, the fire escalated into something spectacular. The temperatures of this fire resulted in an inferno, reaching up to 2,000 degrees Celsius. This literally melted the bricks and made them creep down like stalactites in a cave. The fire made the fort completely unrecognizable. What was once a smoothly shaped building was now covered in stalagmites. Oddity Central said, the silent ruins are perhaps the perfect location where hopes and dreams come to die. If you enjoy being in unnerving surroundings, then you know where to go on your next vacation. Archaim In the southeastern city of Amerski is an ancient settlement known as an Archaim. This was developing during the Middle Bronze Age and was a stronghold used to house 1,500 to 2,500 inhabitants. It's believed to be inhabited by Proto-Indo-Iranians. It showed the remnants of a surprisingly advanced civilization. There were streets and buildings, and there were even water systems, metallurgical furnaces, and mines. Some historians believe that concentric circles represent the model of the universe. It's not until you view the area from high up that you realize just how well designed the circles are. It was a place where pilgrims would come every year. They would also go to the top of the mountain to pray meditate and get some positive energy. Love Mountain nearby is also meant to bring good luck. The British historian Bettany Hughes spent many months exploring the region and was simply blown away by the history of the place. Hughes said, these ancient Indian texts and hymns describe sacrifices of horses and burials and the way the meat is cut off and the way the horse is buried with its master. If you match this with the way the skeletons and the graves are being dug up in Russia, they're a millimeter perfect match. She has one particular theory that could make this one of the most important places in human history. She added, potentially, this could rival ancient Greece in the age of the heroes. We're all told that there's this kind of mother tongue, Proto-Indo-European, from which all the languages we know emerge. So the earliest spot where language developed could have been at this site. <laughs> Dinosaur eggs. One of the most amazing findings were fossilized dinosaur eggs. These eggs were sometimes up to one meter. It was an event that truly shocked the world. A construction crew was blasting through a hillside in order to build a new road and came across these mysterious giant eggs. Geologists were then called upon to suss out what they were. A geologist from the Chechen State University said, we found about 40 eggs so far. The exact number has not been established. There could be many more laying under the ground. However, not everyone is buying this information. Other experts looked into these so-called dinosaur eggs and believed this could be a hoax. One scientist was deeply critical of their findings. From Moscow State University's paleontology department, said dinosaurs didn't lay eggs while jumping about like mountain goats. If they want to create a legend for tourists, they should have said the eggs were laid by a mythical rock bird. This comment was in reference to a giant bird that features in the Arabian Nights tales. But why would they falsify these eggs? Basically, the place is a war-torn area of Russia, and it's alleged that these dinosaur eggs were a desperate way to draw in some tourists. The expert also said, I'm sincerely sorry for them, but I also wouldn't want to go against science. 
So these dinosaur eggs may just be too good to be true. Hairy Sea Monster One of the most startling discoveries in Russia has been this huge hairy sea monster. It washed up on the shore one day and nobody can figure out who or what this thing is. This creature was three times the size of the average man and had no discernible eyes or ears. It's also covered in white or gray hair. In this freezing cold area of Russia, the most popular suggestion would be a polar bear, but its founder said it had some tentacles and looked like a hairy lobster. There's also a term for a creature known as a globster, used back as far as 1962 for a creature without visible eyes, defined head or bone structure. But the word globster is like the term UFO, where you just are referring to something that you really don't know about. The most likely answer is that it's a decomposed whale. One marine biologist said, under the influence of the sea, time and various animals, from smallest to the largest, a whale often takes on bizarre forms. This is only a part of a whale, not a whole one. A similar fluffy monster type creature also washed up on the shores of the Philippines in 2018, and scientists concluded this was most likely a whale. The fur is more than likely to be decomposed muscle fibers. Whales, when they decompose, also turn white as well. Footballs of the Gods One of the strangest phenomena found in Russia is these balls made purely from stone. Often referred to as the Footballs of the Gods, there have been strong speculations as to how they came about. Believe it or not, these are not man-made but naturally formed. The sandstone found in this area is not very strong, so it decays easier than other rocks. Konstantin Zykov of the Arctic Federal University said, they look man-made, but they're in fact stones that were formed thousands of years ago by crystallization and subsequent magnetization of grains of sand onto the crystal. Sand grains harden and create a fairly dense spherical shape. This is soft sandstone that can get destroyed. Those who've been on the island noticed that some large stones broke in two halves, and the largest stone crumbles more and more every year. Rich Warrior's Crypt in 2019, Russian archaeologists hit the jackpot. They found the burial site of an ancient Russian warrior and his family. This tomb dated back to year 500 AD. Historians say that they could have died from the plague or they could have been attacked by neighboring tribes. It's believed that this guy was well regarded in his society, mainly because he was buried quite deep in the ground. These remains are believed to be from Phanagoria, a city of ancient Greece which stands near Sinoi in Russia. It's sometimes referred to as Russia's Atlantis, as one-third of the ancient city is now underwater. One archaeologist said, judging by what we have found here, the man served the city's army. He was a horseman because we found riding stirrups and spurs too. There's also a leather harness attached to a belt which was used to carry a sword. The buckles on the harness are really worn out, which means this warrior has seen a lot of fighting. He was unsheathing and sheathing his sword again and again. <laughs> Giant snowballs appear on beach. We started off in Siberia, and this is where we also finish our list. In northwest Siberia, these amazing snowballs were somehow left on the beach. An 11-mile stretch of the coast was covered in these huge balls. Some of these balls are as small as a tennis ball. However, there are others which are much bigger and reach almost one meter. These are believed to be caused by a very rare environmental condition. Bits of ice eventually get moved by the wind and gravity, eventually forming large snowballs. A press secretary of the Arctic and Antarctic Research Institute told Russian TV, as a rule, first there's a primary natural phenomenon, sludge ice, slob ice. Then comes a combination of the effects of the wind, the lay of the coastline, and the temperature and wind conditions. It can be such an original combination that it results in the formation of balls like these. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe for more exciting and interesting content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.